Hey everybody! Alright, before we dive into talking about the different types of airspace you may encounter, I wanted to make sure that you understand some of the critical information that commonly gets students tripped up and confused. When talking about airspace and looking at the sectional charts, there are two different ways that you can refer to altitudes. The first way is above ground level, AGL, all right? And then the second way is mean sea level, MSL. Above ground level physically refers to the distance that something is off the ground. So from the ground to whatever the object is, that's the above ground level altitude. Whereas mean sea level refers to something uh, in relation to how far it is above sea level. So for instance, the city of Denver, is the Mile High City. Uh, that is approximately 5,000 feet mean sea level. Even though you're standing on the ground in Denver, that's zero feet AGL above ground level, you're still at approximately 5,000 feet mean sea level. Another helpful example to think about is if you're hiking up a mountain. Let's say you and a friend hiked up all the way to the side of a mountain that had a peak of 2,000 feet. All right, 2,000 feet, that'd be 2,000 feet MSL. Once you got to the top of a mountain, let's say you wanted a better view, and you saw a tree that was 50 feet high. You climbed all the way to the top of the 50 foot tree. Now, if you're already at the top of the mountain and standing on the ground, you would be at 2,000 feet MSL and zero feet above ground level, zero feet AGL. Since you're literally standing on the ground, you're gonna be zero feet above the ground. But once you climb to the top of that 50 foot tree, now 50 feet up, you're gonna be at 2,050 feet MSL. But for AGL, you're gonna be at just 50 feet since the ground is literally 50 feet below you. So you'd be 50 feet AGL, 2,050 feet MSL. All right, let's just think about that distinction. One is how high you are above the physical ground below you, and one is in relation to sea level. All right, throughout the rest of this course, you'll be hearing us refer to MSL versus AGL, and the FAA refers to those two different things on the exam as well, and it's what tricks a lot of people up, so make sure that you understand this, okay? We want you to grasp what these terms mean and the difference between them. One important thing to remember is this, and I'll say this again later in the course, is that on the sectional charts, you will see the airspace boundaries, the upper and lower boundaries of different airspaces marked in MSL, mean sea level, not AGL. So you need to keep that in mind when reading the sectional charts and determining whether or not you can or cannot fly in a particular area. And the FAA likes to ask questions that will make you be confused between the difference between AGL and MSL. They might present the answer in above ground level when really they're asking something for mean sea level. All right, now that you understand MSL versus AGL, we can move on to the next section and dive into some airspace topics.